Jessamine Colbin's hands were all that was holding this city together. With her dead, this city was a fast, disintegrating web of guardsmen, overseers, nobles, weepers. Maybe this was the world the outsider was trying to show me all along. For years, I had held together a shadowy band of ex-mercenaries, street kids, and refugees through discipline and a bit of black magic. On the fringes of a city that ate up innocence and weakness. Maybe today was the end of that small world. I thought of Jessamine Colvin's hands shuddering as she lost her grip on life. Whatever doom was coming, I deserved it. My people didn't. We've been attacked. Overseers are tearing the place apart. Looking for you. They're holding our remaining men and their leader is in your chambers as we speak. If we take him out and free our men, we can still drive the Overseers back. I want to know how the bastards found us in the first place. squad after what happened last night? Indeed, I believe so. Brother Hume took the initiative. You mean he saw a chance for personal glory and acted prematurely? Careful. Your careless words will bring us both down. You worry too much. Should we gather for whiskey and cigars tonight? Indeed, I believe so. This one's done. There isn't any fight left in him. I'll survive. I'll await your signal.
Probably rats to everything. We must be vigilant. Yes, sir. Of course. You are right. Is it true that more bone charms have been taken from apostates since the plague started? Doubt. You're only moments from death.
This map shows a coordinated sweep of the flooded district. But the overseers here didn't stick to the plan. Someone must have tipped them off. Will you be leaving the city during the Fugue Feast this year? No, no, no. What's our next move? Capture as many as you can. Their plans are ruined. Take the Overseer who led the attack and find out what else he knows. As soon as he's conscious. It seems the Overseers are marching into the flooded district, planning a massive assault against us. This Overseer Hume went against orders and attacked early. Our men, the ones you freed, were able to rout the remaining Zealots. This place belongs to us again. How did the cursed Overseers find us? It's my fault. I told Delilah where we were hidden. She wanted me to turn on you. You did this. But I can't go through with it. Stupid child. All you had to do was cut his throat. He deserves better. I was an idiot to listen to you. So that's your choice then, Dowd. Her betrayal would have been the sweetest. But either way, the Brigmore witches will be your end. You should have forgotten my name the day you heard it. I think it was always understood between us that I'd see my moment and take your place. I moved too early. You weren't weak, like I thought. I'm only sorry I didn't pick a better ally. Delilah made contact with the Overseers. I thought, between the three of us, we'd have you dead to rights. We can blame the Zealots for that. Overseer Hume was too quick to move. My life is yours now. Kill me, or let me live. If it even matters to you. Touching and pathetic. If I see either of you again, I'll tear out your stone-cold hearts and walk in your skin. I forgive you. Get out of here. Leave the city. Leave my sight, Billy. I give you your life. When Billy Lurk was eight, she wanted to be the captain of a ship. From the moment she met you, all she wanted was to be a killer. She watched you, learned from you, and then she saw you losing your grip and decided to take your place. And now, she's limping to the outskirts of the city. She'll pay a smuggler to get past quarantine. She'll watch herself for signs of plague for a while. Gradually, the fear and grief that seep into your bones in Dunwall will dissipate, and she'll find a new name and a new use for her skills. Even if Dunwall burns to the ground, one corner of the Empire will still know your story. Dowd, killer of an empress. Dowd, who spared his betrayer's life.